The topic for this lesson is the traditional Nigerian art. And under traditional Nigerian art, we'll be discussing Igboku art and Ife art. In our previous lesson, I taught you the meaning of traditional Nigerian art, which are artworks that were discovered in different communities in Nigeria. And such artworks were made by Nigerians and they represent Nigeria's culture in all aspects. Still under Nigerian art, we'll discuss Ife art and culture. Ile Ife, as it is popularly called, is in the present day Oshun state, the western part of Nigeria. It is believed by the Yorubas to be their origin, and their artworks are dated back to about 1100 AD and 1400 AD. The major similarity between the Benin artifact and Ife artifact is that both the Benin artist and the Ife artist work with a material called terracotta, which means fired clay. So now let's see the characteristics of Ife artworks. The first is that tribal marks are obvious features, that is, Ife sculptures they have tribal marks all over their faces. Ife artworks are made using terracotta and bronze, and terracotta means what? Fired clay. Another characteristic of Ife artifact is that. Their artworks are heavily beaded, that is, their artworks are well decorated with beads. If a artwork looks real and natural, the eyes are round in their sockets with various tiny lines running down from the upper face to the chin, and they have tiny holes around the mustache area. So now let's discuss Igboku art. Igboku is located near the well-known modern town of Onisha, which is in southeast Nigeria. Igboku village is situated in Agwata local government area of Anambra state. Igboku artworks were discovered by archaeological experts in the year 1939. When an Igbo farmer named Isaiah Anozie accidentally stumbled upon several bronze objects while he was digging a well in his compound, he never thought he could find something so precious. The discovered Igboku bronze artifacts were believed to be remnants from burial. Some of the items found include crown, breastplates, Ritual vessels, pedants, jewelry, copper, and glass bead. The Igboku bronze artifacts are so mysterious and seem to have such a long history that is, they've long been in existence. Nigerian scientists believe that the ancestors used it during the burial ceremony of highly important people in this society. So most of the bronze artifacts that were discovered were presumed to be buried alongside with highly important people in the society. Later, a series of excavations were carried out by Tostan Shaw at various sites and burial chambers and more discoveries were made. Most of Igboku artworks are mainly items used at home, such as the snail, bows, pots, pedants, and ornaments, all made in bronze and terracotta. I remember I said terracotta means fired or burnt clay. So now let's see some of the characteristics of Igboku artworks. Igboku artworks are heavily decorated with different designs such as insects, network of rope, curved lines, and so on. 
Iboku artworks are all made in natural forms with intricate designs that are well detailed. Iboku artifacts are well decorated as ornaments and at the same time useful at home as household utensils. Thank you.